evening viewers. I would like to talk to us today about criticism. Oftentimes I discover that a lot of people don't take criticisms lightly. There are two types of criticisms. Constructive and destructive criticisms. Constructive is there when it's like out there to help our six. But destructive is when it's out there to destroy or defeat and aim. I feel accepting criticisms is a sign of maturity. Whatever you are doing, you are not being criticized. Be leadership, followership, management, family, relationship. Whatever you are doing, you are not being criticized. That means you are not growing. And whenever your work starts generating debate or I call criticisms, that means whatever you are doing is gaining value. You will begin to get value in life when your works generate debates. And part of that is what criticisms. No matter what you do, some people must hate you. There is nothing you can do in this world to be loved and liked by everybody. So just get over it. Give out your all and die empty. As long as you know you are on the right step, like what you are doing is right, is fair to all concerned, you will create good value, it's for public benefit. At least it's not deceiving people, it's not fooling people. Then go ahead with it. And I want to say something as a future leader. Be ready, be ready to really accept criticisms. Criticisms is part of life. You know a real leader, by the way, you know, such takes criticisms. If it's good advice and all those things, just take it, say it's good advice and wrong with it. You give you 100 advices, just pick the few ones that will be beneficial to you. Discard the other one. Don't guys, don't guys start attacking your critics. Only fools attack their critics. And if you must actually respond, please meditate, cogitate, ruminate, and give out a positive feedback. I keep telling people when I do counseling, when you're angry, don't take decisions. 99.9% .9 of the decisions you take when you're angry, you always regret them. When you're intoxicated, don't make promises. Always be sober. Always be calm. Always be cool-headed when you're making promises. Make sure you're in charge of your senses. Americans will say, be in the present, you know? Be in the present. Let your mind be in the present of mind. Be in charge of your reality. Be in charge of your medulla oblongata. Be in charge of your sensibilities. Be very, very sensitive when you're making decisions. Be very sensitive when you're making promises. And I want to say something again. Whenever you're in a relationship, always make room for disappointments. Faithfulness is expensive. Not everybody can afford it. Trust is expensive. Not everyone can afford it. So always make room for disappointment when people make promises to you. If they fulfill it, take it as a bonus. If they don't fulfill their promises, at least you won't have disappointment. You made room for you know, to accommodate that. Heartbreaks won't come to you if you don't expect much from people. Be the love you demand. Be the joy you expect. Be the good friend you want to be. Be the honest man or woman you expect from people. Be the greatness, be the gratitude, be the attitude you expect from people. Gratitude is the bedrock of rectitude. Gratitude is the bedrock of maturity. If you know how to tangle, you know how to get. So I go back to my subject again. Please, leaders, followers, religious leaders, political leaders, accountants, engineers, lawyers, doctors, military officers, you know, people in the care section, transporters, learn to take criticisms favorably. It's a sign of maturity. May God bless us as we do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.